Hi everybody, welcome back, it's Anna. All right, as you can see from the title, this is an actual planner review. This is my very first one. A company called Personal Planner reached out to me asking if I would like to review one of their planners. Um, at first, honestly, I was kind of hesitant because normally when I get these kinds of requests, I usually shy away from them. Um, mostly because I'm not interested or I, you know, I talk about stationary minimalism, um, so I don't usually want to talk about things that I don't want, that I, I am not really interested in, you know what I mean? Um, because I really want to talk about things that I do like. Um, but uh, this is a planner company that allows you to customize the planner from start to finish. So you really get to work with the format that's on the inside and coordinate that so it works for you. And I really liked uh, that kind of idea. And as I go into more detail about what's inside the planner, I'll kind of show you what kind of features really drew me into wanting to do this review. And um, so I agreed. So they were very generous in letting me do that. So I have the classic A6, A5, sorry, not A6. A5 size and it's about the size of my current bullet journal. So pretty much about as tall, about as wide, except obviously for the spiral right here. The whole ordering process was very easy if you go through the website personalplanner.com and um, Overall, it tells you that it's three to four weeks standard shipping and it ships internationally. Um, and the price of the planner includes shipping, which I think is amazing considering that this is a company based out of Sweden, uh, created by um, a guy who was trying to find a customizable planner that worked for his wife who had been having trouble for a long time trying to find one that worked for her. So. Shipping from Sweden, ships worldwide, that's pretty amazing. And the website walks you through every single step, um, right down to what you want on the cover of it, what color elastic, what you want on the back of the planner. It's very easy and intuitive. So I thought that was really, really nice that they made the website very easy for you to kind of arrow through and um, really figure out kind of what you want and you get to play around with all the options which I think is really nice. Um, shipping like I said says about standard three to four weeks but mine came in less than that it was really impressive. I think since ordering I think I got it within a week and a half maybe. It came in a standard bubbler mailer nothing was damaged or anything the only thing that you had to assemble was you had to snap in the bookmark into the spiral and then the elastic, which you did have to kind of slip into the holes in the back right here. But other than that, um, everything came in just fine. And one of the things that I was able to customize was the color of the elastic, which I chose to cut and coordinate the muted colors of the photo that I chose for the front. Now this is something that really kind of made me want to go ahead with the planner is being able to choose a customized photo for the front. They do have a wide variety of designs that you can choose for it um, if you don't have any photo that you want to use, um, which I think is, I mean, their selection was pretty impressive. And they also have like a year like their year's design. So like right now it's 2018, so there's a bunch that you can choose from that's just for 2018. So I just chose something that kind of reflected like my channel, just for fun, because I've never had that before. And then on the back, I chose something that uh, is just a photo of me in Manchester and it reminds me of a really happy trip that I took. So there's that. The elastic is very sturdy. It's um, kind of like on the thicker side, so this ain't, this is not going anywhere. Um, and it's uh, I feel like it's just not going to go out um, anytime soon. It comes with kind of like your um, muted plastic cover with the photo or cover design printed on kind of like a thicker cardstock. 
and the photo came out great, very crisp and very clear. The front has a slip top front or top slip uh, clear pocket. Now I'm not sure if this is standard to what comes with it, um, but it did come with like a full sheet of stickers and banners, which I thought was really cool. Oh, another thing I did want to mention uh, with the ordering process is, is I noticed that when I ordered it, it did not uh, send me a confirmation email. So if you do put an order in, make sure to write the confirmation number for reference if you need to contact them again, just in case. Um, I don't know if that's just standard or what, but um, it didn't. I did get a shipping notification, so trying to get all my thoughts uh, straight just because this is like the third time I've tried to film this video. All right, the next page is your standard, like, if I'm lost, please contact information. And then I was very impressed considering that the week that I chose the planner to start, that's when it arrived. So that was very impressive. Um, because when you choose the setup of the planner, you get to choose right down to what week, what month that you want the planner in, which I think is great because for those of us who want to suddenly change out our planners in the middle of the year, you're not ending up with a planner that has so many months of wasted space and wasted paper that you're not using, you can choose exactly when to um, start that. So I think that's a really great feature um, in a planner. And then it goes from one year to that date. So this is kind of like the monthly overview, um, but I'm gonna sh flip to um, a blank sheet or a blank spread so you, that way you can kind of see what I chose. The only con that I can think of um, for the ordering process is when you go to the website, and um, this is, I'm just speaking on when I ordered this, maybe the website has changed, is the design for the banner you get to choose. And they give you a huge selection of different designs that you can choose to kind of set the mood for your planner. And what I selected was kind of like the star galaxy look, which I really, really like. But it was hard for me to tell what it was going to look like in full banner because the boxes were so tiny. And when you tried to place your cursor and hover over it, the design of the box didn't blow up uh, for you to look at or get a clear photo of. So it was really hard to see if the banner designs were like a little on the cartoonish side or too colorful, too muted. It was hard to see, um, and I was doing that on a 12-inch laptop, so I don't know if that's changed now, but that um, made it kind of difficult. In the end, it worked out. I really liked the design of the banner, but I wanted something that was kind of muted for my overall spread. So as you can see, I kept with a vertical style planning, which I do still enjoy, but this time it's actually wider compared to, say, my Recollections Planner that you've seen me do a review on, which I find writing in this, having that space is so much better. I like having that vertical, but just a wider range of space. It's a week on two pages with one extra box for notes and to-dos and things like that. I chose to have the alternating gray and white lines just so I had that guide for writing things in but here are the two things that I really, really liked. Well, three things that I really liked that made me want to go ahead and do the review for this planner is I was able to customize each of the boxes with a little uh, workout box, which I really like, as well as the weather tracker. I love tracking the weather. I don't know what it is. It's something that I've always done in my journals. I do it every day. And I like having something that's already preset. I just need to write down what the temperature is, what I get to check off. Um, and it, for some reason, that just really, really appeals to me. That's my favorite feature out of this entire planner. It's something that's so small and yet just made the planner for me. And then at the bottom, you're able to choose different kinds of functions for the bottom uh, portion. So what I did was I chose a to do this week, which has boxes where it says started and done, which I really like. So you can actually just mark it 
when you've started, when it's actually finished. The next portion is this week's dinners, which I really, really liked. That was the third major feature that really drew me to this planner, is being able to have some sort of meal tracker option down here because I'm terrible at meal planning. And then just because I wanted to break up the white space here, I decided to go with just a gray uh, grid. And then it's got the over uh, all month view. And also what's really nice is it allows you to choose, like see week 17, week 18, week, 18, week 19. Um, and then there's an extra note section. Um, so there's so much space to write in this planner, which is wonderful. I'm, for me, it's almost like too much space still because I don't have such a packed life that everything has to be written in here and I run out of space. Um, but I have plans for how I'm going to use this because for a while I was wondering what am I going to do with it, you know? So it goes on for the entire year, goes with like the, you know, standard planner where it has the month overview and then the month on a two page spread. Um, I did like that it had the option of you can do a Monday start or a Sunday start. I like my weekends together. So I had a Monday start and same for the weekdays, Monday start, and then it ends with the weekends together. And then toward the back, you were able to customize some overall features. So what I did was add the 2018 overview. This is handy for birthdays, major vacation planning, which I really like. And then I went ahead and added the overview for 2019 also for vacation planning. I like world maps, so I decided to stick that in there. Um, so that is handy for travel planning as well. And then the rest of the pages, I chose just the simple grid paper for notes and things. Obviously, I haven't really filled that much in because I have so much writing space within the planner itself. And then to go over the ink uh, test. This paper is pretty nice quality, guys. Um, it's kind of like your, it's slightly thicker than your regular uh, print paper, but I'm highly impressed the fact that it actually takes fountain pen. No bleeding, no shadowing. So you can't even see it. And that was with my Twisby Eco in a broad nib. So no bleeding, no shadowing. Not that shadowing bothered me to begin with, but the fact that it didn't at all um, is pretty impressive. And so I used everything that I was, um, I've was i been currently using in my planner and my journal and no problems. So that was pretty awesome. That was a nice surprise actually. So, all right, so going back to just a blank spread. Um, I had originally planned for keeping this as like a regular journal, or not a regular journal, regular planner, but it became really hard for me to go back and forth because I still enjoy using my bullet journal. And then, actually I can just show you as an example. I did for a while try keeping track of like my Camp NaNoWriMo word count, but I'm handwriting most of it, so uh, me having to go back and count all the words kind of fizzled out, so I didn't end up keeping that up. But then what I did was I started doing a cleanse just to kind of reset my body and just get a little healthy again. Um, I found that this was a great way for me to track my food intake and my meal planning, which I think is going to be my new way to use this planner just because I'm terrible at meal planning and this will give me the opportunity to have all the space for writing down what I've had. I can plan general meals down here in this box and then write down grocery lists and food prep in all these other extra spaces. This is going to give me all the space that I need for planning ahead so that way if like I have a meal plan for Monday I can write down at the bottom, here's what I need to prep for Tuesday to make sure I've got lunch for the following days and all that. So that is, I think, going forward going to be my new way for doing that. And this is just going to become my meal planning 
um, planner, which I think is going to work out because I don't need anything big. I don't need anything complicated. I just need a place for me to gather all my food notes and have something to refer to when I need to go grocery shopping. And I like that it already has that built in, like this is what you're having for the week. Uh, because that's where I struggle the most is weekdays. Weekends, not so much. Um, just because we're usually out and about and we like to go out for dinner, but weekdays is where it kills us. So I think that is what I'm going to be using for this planner. So overall, I think this is a pretty great journal, especially if you're a person, like I said, who wants to change something out in the middle of the year on a random month, random week, and you don't want that wasted space. This planner allows you to go ahead and just have that planner start from that week forward, which is not something that I've seen in other planners. I mean, I guess I haven't really done too much shopping in the way of planners, but um, that's, I think, a great option in itself um, if you're looking for something that you can customize. And I love that you can add your own photo or you can do a collage of photos if you have like pictures of your kids or nature, things like that. You can do like a mood board to set the tone for the year. I think that would be a great idea for you to be able to like decorate the covers, create like a mood board collage. Um, and then same for the back too. So that way it's kind of like a constant reminder of like, these are your goals for the year. So hmm, kind of wish I'd thought of that first <laughs> um, because I really like mood boards. So I wish I'd done that. Anyway, um, this is, you know, if this is something that I didn't have to, like if I didn't get a gift card for it and I had to pay for my own money, I would consider this just because I just like the way that it customizes. And man, the weather tracker, it's, I'm all about the weather tracker. I don't know. Um, that for me makes the planner. Um, so I think that's it. That's all I can think of in terms of the actual review. I really like the planner so far. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fill out um, my Monday's meal and I'm going to start, um, prepping for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and do that after this video actually. But as you can see from the title, I've got a giveaway. Personal Planner has been so generous in offering any sized planner to one winner. And so in order to win, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed this video. And then go follow me on Instagram. I'm at girl and quill on Instagram. And then if you could follow uh, at personal planner, that's their Instagram page. Or if you would like the uh, like their page on Facebook or both. And then if you could leave a comment on my Instagram uh, post once you see that up of what is your most ideal planner feature. If you could add anything to customize a planner, whether it's something that I've mentioned or it's something that you think would fit your lifestyle, what's the most ideal customization to a planner feature that you can think of? Um, I would like to know. Um, obviously, you know that I like weather trackers, so that's mine, but I'd like to know yours. So one winner will be picked. The uh, contests will run until May 30th, Monday. I will announce the winners on Wednesday, May 2nd. Sorry, not May 30th, April 30th. So that's a Monday. Um, so April 30th, Monday. The winner will be announced on May 2nd, Wednesday at random. I will announce it on Instagram. And once I contact you, please get back to me within 24 hours. Um, if not, I would like to be fair and move on and pick a new winner. So um, just get back to me as soon as you can. If you have a private account, you might have to temp temporarily change that just so I can contact you because I will need to provide an email to Personal Planner. They will contact you via email in order to give you that gift card code to order any size planner from their website. And they ship worldwide, so keep that in mind. And I would appreciate it if uh, you were also 18 or had parental permission before entering. So everything will be listed below in the description box, so check that out and for more details. Um, and it will be posted on my Instagram account as well. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.
And there's also going to be a 15% off code below that you can get uh, with my personalized code, it looked like. Um, and that goes until, I believe, May 5th. So that code is good for 15% off any planner if you want to go ahead and just order one right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck on the giveaway. Bye guys.